It is state championship week for the boys' high school hockey season, and if you were at some games this winter, you may have noticed a couple of West Michigan women working on the officiating crews. As we wind down Women's History Month, Larry Fergurski introduces us to a pair of women opening doors for young girls to perhaps make a little history of their own. Of the 436 registered hockey officials with the Michigan High School Athletic Association, three, three. only seven are women. Oh, no, no, no. Two of them, Melissa Swears and Sarah Strong, Stay back. Here go, boys. the most decorated of the group, Win. from right here in West Michigan. Stick down, stick down. I love the game of hockey. Like I watch hockey every night. I played growing up a lot. Um, I love to skate. I love being on the ice. In fact, Sarah is the only woman ever to officiate a Michigan boys high school hockey state final. Six white, hook, six white. And while both have helped break barriers, neither considers themselves a pioneer nor just one of the guys, so to speak. I view myself as a female official. I don't, I'm not trying to be one of the guys at all. I am trying to be the best person that I can be and the best official that I can be. Let's go, Blue! Both played the game as well. Melissa on travel teams around West Michigan, Sarah on AAA clubs in Metro Detroit. Grew up playing hockey my whole life. I was born in Canada, so hockey is kind of, you know, you're kind of born with skates on. So um, started skating at two, playing hockey at four, and, and played all growing up. Both closed out their official playing careers on the women's club team at Western Michigan before putting on the stripes. For me, it originally started as like a really great part time job in college. In addition to high school hockey, Melissa for the past four years, Win! Sarah the last 12. Easy, let's go! Both also officiate NCAA women's college hockey, where Sarah has worked the Frozen Four and the national championship game, ACHA men's college club hockey, and for USA hockey all across the country. Ice! Melissa in three national championship tournaments, Sarah in 10. Please. In fact, Sarah is also certified by the International Ice Hockey Federation and has officiated international and professional women's games in France, China, and Hungary. I didn't even know all the possibilities, and now I've been able to travel the world roughing hockey, and I had no idea that that was even an option. That's obviously been an unbelievable experience to be able to do that. And this May, Sarah will work the Women's Hockey World Championships in Nova Scotia, where she and others will be evaluated for a possible spot officiating at the Winter Olympic Games next year in Beijing. Honestly, I, I probably can't even put into words what that would mean to me because I've spent my last, you know, 14 years working for it. Everything I've been doing, you know, working out two hours a day, eating, making sure my nutrition's on point, studying the rules, all of that has kind of leading up to this tournament. Let it go! Yet despite their lofty credentials, each is often met with skepticism at high school games. I personally feel as soon as I step on the ice, I am looked at significantly differently than if a male steps on the ice. You can tell that though, that people oh, want yeah. to judge you a little more, Absolutely. whatever the word is, than the Absolutely. Board. I don't know if it's the hair or my size. I'm obviously not a big person. But don't let their five foot three frames fool you. Both are incredibly fit and knowledgeable about the game and its rules. And it's almost like they try to instantly challenge you to see if you know what you're talking about. And once they figure out that you do, then it's like, oh, okay, she's okay. I just try to tell myself that I'm qualified and I deserve to be out there and I can skate just as good as the guys and I, I know the game just as good as they do and there's no reason for anyone to think of me differently. So that's kind of the mindset that I go into each and every game and you know we do have to work that much harder because we need to earn their respect and both continue to do so now when Sarah got started she didn't have any female role models to look up to when Mel broke in she turned to Sarah both now volunteer to work with and hope they can help and inspire other young women and girls to continue to chase their dreams on and off the ice